All right, welcome back everybody to another Real Talk video. I pray all is well with everybody as we give the most high all the honor, the glory, and all the praise. My title now says, Pastors Who Are Also Minister of Music. Oh yeah, we got a very hot topic right here, a very touchy subject for a lot of people. And uh, I want to give a shout out to Bam Bam. Um, good question. What is my take on so many pastors who then pretty much forgot about teaching the word and are uh, more focused on the music. And uh, let me say this too, if you just happen to be a pastor looking at this video, I mean no disrespect with what I'm about to say in this video, but if you take it as disrespect, I can't do nothing about that either. You know, just pray for me. I'm not trying to cause no kind of confusion or trouble by doing this video, but it's not going to sit well with some of y'all. Now we got that out of the way. Let's move on. Um, Cause I'm a minister of music myself, um, and I'm in Dallas, Texas, brother. And what I see a lot, I'm gonna just be real with you. It's sad, you know, because pretty much most of the pastors now that I know, and that's a lot of them, they more caught on music than salvation, teaching. Teaching what's right, what's real, and, and stop all this compromising and sugarcoating and watering down the word. But it's something seriously wrong, brother. When a pastor spend more time in their music than they do in the word. You have to have what? Balance. You have to have balance in this life. And the question that you asking me, why does it seem like every minister of music now is a pastor? And check this out. They're either a pastor or a prophet now. Look like all pastors are turning into prophets for some reason. I'm not let me say that right, not all, but the majority is a lot. Some of these these cats are elevating their name every other month. You know. Well, first of all, everybody is not a pastor. Some folks done call themselves. And if you do call yourself, I'm pastor, but I'm also a minister of music, then why are you spending more time singing and playing the keys than you spend in the Word? Something is wrong when music have became the only focus now. And this is not just in quite a few churches, but even when you look on television, all you see now is competitions. We got more singing and dancing and comp competitions, entertainment now, but when it comes to truly preaching, teaching, it's lacking in that era. Most, most pastors I know spend a little bit of time in the Word. And when you want to sing more than you preach, what's wrong with that? You need to be in the choir stand. I know too many pastors who can't wait to hoop and holler with their sermon. So they give you just a few scriptures and then they ready to sing, hoop and holler, entertain you. And as I always like to say, make the organ player change keys three or four times just to show you how good they can sing and pronounce words. That's why preaching nowadays does not match what actually happened in the Bible. But I'm not talking about everybody though. When you see this entertainment stuff, this stuff that's not biblical, then you see that the most high is not in foolishness. There are some pastors out here doing a dynamic job and a hand clap to them. They following the Holy Spirit and they lead and their church is prospering and people in the building is prospering. Amen. But why in scripture do you see who started all this hooping and hollering in the first place? That's what mankind loved to do. All this pump you up and hype man and and, 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 and singing sermons and, and trying to get you pumped up and all this stuff, man, that's man stuff. Satan loves it. All this now, if you ain't, you got to get up there and back to preach up on the organ when he tell you to. See, I make preachers mad, man. I, I sit down and look at you like you crazy. The Holy Spirit tells me what to do. I don't get up because you said, get up, brother. Go get him, man. He, he he bought the hoop and holler. Go get him, brother. Now nah, he can do that on his own. He don't need my help. He good. He all right. 
Because I ain't got time to be sitting up there looking like no fool either when some of these preachers that's trying to sing know they can't sing, need to shut up and quit trying to sing a sermon in the first place. And I mean that out of love. Truth hurt. Concentrate on the word. Now let me clarify what I'm saying. I'm not saying that all preachers that hoop and holler are bad and don't know what they're talking about. No, there are some preachers that actually can teach and they go into that mode, they do an awesome job. But when you look at how more time, once again, is being spent on music versus the word, because a lot of these pastors slash minister of music, they require music more over the word. Something wrong with this. Something got out of hand. It's crazy for a person to call themselves a pastor, but you don't never hear them. You don't never hear. You don't even never hear them teach. Never hear them pastor nobody. They don't preach, but they got the title. You all up in the music department when you should be in the pastor study. You all up in the musicians corner when you should be at the house spending time on getting your sermons together, hearing from the Holy Spirit. But you all over there trying to sing all the time, but you're giving the congregation just a little bit of word. And your sermons are watered down. And you can tell when a pastor has not studied. I don't know about y'all, but I can tell when a sermon has been put together, rushed at the last minute. It shows up. But you can tell where they spent most or they spent that time getting that song together. They could sing. Think about this. When a minister of music never practice and learn, won't do nothing different. Look how bad that is on the minister of music. Look how bad it's going to sound. No teaching. Not learning on their own time. He or she. And they get to the church and just present mess. It looks terrible. That's the same way when the pastor don't study. When they don't study and learn, they go to the church and it's terrible. They just throw stuff together. Let me tell you something. It's too much singing and not enough teaching going on nowadays. It's more musicals and less healing, less repentance. It's more dancing than marching, like I just said on uh, yesterday, I believe. It's more speaking in tongue and no interpreters. It's more laying of the hands, but less being delivered. What's wrong with this? The focus is off. Because the focus now is music. We want to do all the other things. But when it comes to teaching the word and accepting it and letting it cut you up. Oh, man, don't talk to me about that, JT. I don't want to hear that. Hey, man, what y'all what y'all playing Sunday at y'all church? What y'all got singing? I get so sick of musicians. I always just want to call each other. Hey, man, we learning such and such. Because, man, that song jamming, man. Y'all heard that new what's the name coming out? Man, you hear that bass player on that song? Man, do you hear the way the choir move? Man, you hear that music? You hear that background? You hear Who's hearing the Holy Spirit? Who's hearing the Holy Spirit? What would happen if most people would spend time in the Word, not just the pastors? Stop waiting on the pastor to do everything in the first place. But what would really happen if more people would spend time in the Word? Hmm. These preaching minister of music slash preachers that I know, most of them are very confused. And I pray that they watch this video. Anybody that know me know I don't bite my tongue. I don't care who it is. I love you. That's why I talk the way I talk, man. I know sometimes people be like, that's, too, that's a little too rough what you're saying, JT. Man, if it ain't rough, it ain't right. Truth is rough. The truth cuts you up. The truth, the truth hurt. That's why people can't stand to hear truth. And, and as I'm thinking about it, I think the same way about all these politician preachers out here. They don't preach nothing. All they talk about is politics. Something wrong with that. Worst thing also that ever, ever happened is when politics crept up in the church. All you talk about is politics. What about the word? What about that?
when you think about what I'm saying, y'all, and I'm going to make you laugh with this. Look at how many preachers that play, they can't play at all. Some of these preachers know they can't play, but you can't tell them that. Some of them can't play nor preach, but you can't tell them that. Some of them know the devil called them, but you can't tell them that. It wasn't the most tired. And once some some of these ones they they know what they do, they see a chance to make money off of it. So they get into the music ministry, and they try to get money on the music side and make a killing on the preaching side. I'm not talking about everybody. I'm talking about everybody. Those that do it, the shoe fit, word. Everything that came down to money now. I know too many of these pastors who want to play and they only know two keys, A flat and A flat. Somebody catch that going on. Most people already won't even take time out of the day to read, but they'll listen. And some won't take time out of their day to read nor listen. So how can you know the truth, the truth I mean, excuse me, if you're not studying at all. How do you know if the pastor is even telling you the truth if you're not going to go line up what he's saying with scripture? you just sitting there, amen, pastor. I remember when Adam helped Noah build the ark. Amen, Adam was struggling. Amen, brother. You lost. All this singing now. You know what? I don't even need you to sing me a sermon. Like the thing I can't stand the most is when a pastor don't know what they talking about. They get up in the pulpit, read you a couple of scriptures, and then start talking about amazing grace. We all know the saving, that, that amazing grace that saved them when they fallen off and they saw. Because it was an amazing grace. <laughs> How sweet the sound. <laughs> Come on, brother, that saved the rich like me. <laughs> and I once was lost, <laughs> but now I'm found. <laughs> What blind, but now I see, but now I see, touch three people, and man, come on, that is not teaching nothing, and y'all, come on, y'all, do somebody out here feel me, I'd rather you teach me than sing me something, man, come on, this is why so many people are just caught in religion, caught on the fact of going to church, being just caught on, I'm in the choir stand, I'm in Bible study, I'm in the pulpit, I'm on the usher board, I'm on the musician staff, I'm a deacon, I'm the secretary, I'm part of the kitchen committee, I'm this, I'm that, but what are you really doing and who are you truly serving? Because I got a news flash for you, Satan goes to church faithfully also. He loves to go church. He loves to go church hopping. He loved to follow right on behind just to see where you're going to wind up next. You know what I'm thinking about, Brother PP Drawings. Big shout out to you. Your comments are always hitting me hard. But I remember a while back, um, you prophesied something hmm. way long time ago before it happened. You probably don't even remember this. But it was an older video I did talking about all minister of musics are not pastors. And you said in that comment, brother, in that video, you said, JT, too many people are playing big games these days with the church. You said, just like the world is now, you said everything has came to a competition. And you said, brother PP Drawers, that you wouldn't be surprised if you saw a show called America's Next TV Pastor. Because the competition is already being held in a lot of churches. You said it's just not televised. You said it's just not televised yet. Now, you said we got too many pastors preaching for money, fame, and popularity popularity. And you know what, Brother PP Jones, when you said that, you said that way before preachers of LA was ever thought about coming out. 
And when preachers of L.A. came out, it made a lot of folks mad because the way the pastors was putting all their business across the world. The way some of them was living their lifestyle and throwing it up in your face. The way one or two of them was arrogant. Now I think they got one called Preachers of Detroit. But you spoke this as it happened. Because this is the time we living in, brother. And as I try to wrap this video up, when you just want, let me get back to the music part. When you just want music as your main focus, your focus is all the way off. And I know too many preachers, that's all they want is the music. And those are most of the ones I know who call what we call preaching minister of musics. All they care about is the music. Little time that they spend in the word. But spend a whole lot of time in the music. Something wrong with that. And I'm not lying when I say this. I've seen preachers who were hooping hollering, take the microphone, and go get on the organ and bag themselves up. And we'll kick somebody else off the organ so they can show you they can preach and bag their own self up. That they can't preach at all. It's too entertaining now. Y'all, that's my time. May the most high bless you. Let us let us learn from yesterday as we live for the day. So we hope and pray for tomorrow. Peace out.